Hello students. Earlier, we understood evolution and the mechanism of evolution. Now, we will discuss the theories related to evolution. Many scientists have proposed different theories explaining evolution. The first theory that we will understand today was proposed by John Le Baptist Lamarck called the theory of inheritance of acquired characters. It is also called the theory of use and disuse of organs. According to Lamarck, the organs which are used frequently by the organism develop and the characteristics that are used less are lost in the succeeding generations. For instinct, initially, the giraffe had a small neck, but because it wished to eat the leaves present on the top of the tree, they extended its neck, and this led to the expansion of the neck slowly, resulting in the formation of a long neck within a few generations. By stating this example, Lamarck explained his theory that giraffes acquired the physical trait of increasing the neck size by using it more, and this was inherited to the further generations. Lamarckism was disproved by Wiesmann's theory of germplasm. Wiesmann experimented on mice by cutting its tail for several generations and allowing them to reproduce. Irrespective of cutting the tail for multiple generations, he did not get offspring without the tail. The theory given by Lamarck was not accepted by many scientists as it failed to explain the inheritance of the acquired characters. The next theory we shall talk about is Darwin's theory, is also called Darwinism. Charles Darwin came up with the idea of the origin of species by natural selection. His theory of evolution tells how life evolved from simple to more complex forms. Darwin's book, The Origin of Species, provides evidence in support of evolution by natural selection. Further, let us understand the basic concept of the theory of natural selection. The first important point is overproduction. Here, he explained that organisms reproduce to increase their population geometrically or have enormous potential for fertility. The second point is about constancy in number. This means the population size of any kind of organism remains within a limit due to the limited availability of resources. The third point is about the struggle for existence, which includes intraspecific struggle, where it is between the members of the same species for the same resources. There is also an interspecific struggle, which is between the members of different species for food and shelter. Then there is an environmental struggle between the individuals and environmental conditions. The next point is to understand variations. There exist different individuals with different requirements. These differences among individuals are variations that help some individuals to adapt better to their surroundings. The fit organisms possesses some variations which are favorable and they also transmit these favorable variations to their progeny. The most important aspect of Darwin's theory is the concept of survival of the fittest and natural selection. He said, only the organisms which possesses full useful variations are selected in nature and are allowed to breed. These variations, when accumulated for a long time, lead to the origin of new species. Darwin's theory failed to explain the inheritance of characters. According to him, he said that characters are transferred in the form of pangenes and he called it the theory of pangenesis. This was not accepted and was disproved by Wiesmann's theory of germplasm. Darwin was also unable to differentiate between somatic and germinal variation. Hence, we have understood the theories explaining evolution. 
Let us summarize. Today, we studied about the theories explaining evolution, including Lamarck's theory and Darwin's theory. Lamarck's theory explains that evolution is by the inheritance of acquired characters, which are acquired based on the use and disuse of the organs. The theory was disproved by Wiesmann's theory of germplasm. Darwin's theory was majorly based on aspects like overproduction, constancy in number, the struggle for existence, variations, survival of fittest, and natural selection. Darwin was unable to explain the cause of variation and the mechanism of inheritance.